morning our listeners welcome on our video today as you can see we have a paper here and this is chemistry this is uh, form one work this is a complete paper we have questions and answers here and you can see it is out of 100 you can see these are the questions that we are talking about yeah we have very many of them here we, which we are going to discuss right away and uh, we request you to watch this video up to the end so that you can benefit out of this work if this is your first time to watch our videos uh, kindly consider subscribing to this channel uh, so that uh, you can benefit out of the work that we do uh, in this channel we have very many videos uh, revision videos kcse or subjects and uh, we have also dealt with the uh, set books uh, that is uh, the new set books like now the, the uh, fathers of nations uh, guza jadi bebaya maisha and all other uh, set books we have dealt with them on this channel so anytime you want to uh, do revision uh, you can come on this uh, channel to the subscribers we want to thank you guys for the support that you've awarded us uh, it is because of your support that this channel has grown this far let's go uh, to the work you are told number one the curve the curves below represent the variation of temperature with time when pure and impure sample of solid were heated separately so you can see uh, temperature you can see time we have curve a and curve b and you can see how they are behaving when uh, they are heat uh, there there uh, the temperature uh, temperature when the temperature increases what happens so you are told which curve shows at the variation in temperature for a pure solid explain which one is pure solid between a and b that one is curve b why it has a sharp melting point as you can see and that is uh, b has a very sharp melting point and boiling point uh, that is the answer question number two state the effect of an impurity on the melting and boiling point of a pure substance the effect of an impurity on the melting and boiling point of a pure substance impurities lower the melting point of a pure substance while impurities raises the boiling point of a pure substance question number two what is a saturated solution what is a saturated solution a solution that cannot dissolve any more solutes at a given temperature so that is what uh, we call a saturated uh, solution uh, b uh, state two implications of crystallization in applications two applications of crystallization that one is extraction of salt from salt water number two extraction of sugar from sugar cane number three extraction of medicinal substance from plants that is where we can apply that method of crystallization question number three the setup below was used to study some properties of air uh, you can see here you can see water beaker and then test tube then moist iron fillings and you are told why were iron fillings most churn most end and why were they most end uh, to enable them stick in on the test tube that is why they were 
posted. Number two, state and explain two observations that would be made at the end of the experiment. What was what observation was made at the end of this experiment? And uh, the observation is iron fillings turned brown due to rusting. Water levels rose up in the test tube to occupy the space initially occupied by oxygen occupied by used oxygen so that is what happened at the end of the at the end of the experiment question number three you thought a form two student in an attempt to stop rusting put copper and zinc in contact with iron as shown in the diagram below you can see copper here uh, and then you can see zinc mm, iron so you are told state where the rusting occurred after one week if the setups were left outside you state whether it happened experiment roman one rusting occurred and then roman two no rusting explain your answer you are told to explain why rusting occurred on Roman 1 and not in experiment Roman 2 iron iron more reactive than copper ends undergoes undergoes reacts or reaction with air and moisture zinc more reactive than iron ends undergoes corrosion in place of iron Let's go to question number five. This one is an experiment. You can see this setup very common. These are questions that they usually repeat uh, in most of exams, even KCSC. So you are told a student left some crushed fruit mixture with the water for two, uh, for some days. He found the mixture and fermented. He concluded that the mixture was contaminated with water and ethanol with the boiling point of 100 C centigrade and 78 degrees Celsius so, uh, respectively. The setup of apparatus below are used to separate the mixture. So we have a thermometer, we have a mixture, that mixture that he left there then we have uh, a parita debris we have uh, point b point a we have conical flask flask we have distillate so and then we have a source of it so you are told to name the piece of apparatus labeled debris what apparatus is that one that one is a being condenser this one very common question what was the purpose of the thermometer in the setup? You can see the thermometer is here. Why was it used? Uh, it was used to indicate when a liquid is boiling. A thermometer read a constant temperature uh, to determine the fraction coming out. Uh, the purpose of that was to first of all to indicate when a liquid is boiling the thermometer read a constant temperature then number two to determine the fraction coming out then next at which end of the apparatus debris should tap water be connected at what end or at what point it should be connected at point a water should be connected at A. Why? Because now the water is used to cool down there. It is used to cool down the the substance. Yeah. Next, you are told uh, which liquid was collected at the first as the first distillate. Explain. The first distillate was ethanol. Why? It has a lower boiling point of 78 Celsius. Then, compared to water, 
with a boiling point of 100 C or the liquid with the lower boiling point boils fast and it vapors it vapors are condensed and uh, the condenser to be collected as the first distillate then we go to the next question I thought what is the name given to the above method of separation separating mixture that one is fractional distillation and by next I thought state two apparent uh, applications of the above method of separating mixture uh, what two applications where uh, can it be applied it can be applied to separate components of crude oil it can be applied to isolate oxygen gas and nitrogen gas from air it can also be used to manufacture spirits next what properties of the mixture make what properties of the mixture make it possible for the component to be separated by the above method they are immiscible liquid you can also say they have different but close boiling points next stand in the diagram below and answer the questions that follow we have a diagram here and number six we have a diagram here we have wire gaze then we have uh, heat being applied then we have cold water we have the mixture of iodine and sodium chloride you are told state and explain the observation to be made eh? state and explain the observation to be made on uh, that experiment where we have the the mixture of ion iodine and uh, sodium chloride and then cold water at the top and then the answer is the purple color is deposited at the bottom of the of the crucible due to uh, iodine sublim subli subliming mm. white solid of sodium chloride remains in the beaker because it does not sublime that is the observation made what is the purpose of the cold water in this setup to cool iodine vapor uh, to iodine solid next number seven we have another diagram here and uh, you are told the diagram below is set up uh, for the laboratory separation of oxygen gas so we have hydrogen peroxide then we have gas x you can see we have water then we have solid r you are told to name solid r that one is manganese for oxide you are told to write the, uh, an equation for the reaction that takes place in the flask what reaction so we have hydrogen peroxide and um, water uh, uh, when you heat hydrogen peroxide it gives water and oxygen as well you can see gas x being collected there uh, complete the setup on uh, to show up to show how oxygen gas is collected on the diagram so you can uh, see that one you can uh, complete this experiment was not complete it was uh, it was uh, drawn up to the point where you can see the difference so you're supposed to complete and uh, this one is something you need to cram because they bring uh, they bring one part and tell you to complete uh, the experiment number three you're told state the physical properties of oxygen gas which is considered when choosing the method of gas collection in is above why do we use that method eh, that one 
oxygen gas slightly soluble in water. You are told name another setup of a liquid and a solid that can be used to prepare oxygen gas. That one is liquid water and soli uh, solid it can be sodium peroxide. Number F give two commercial uses of oxygen. This one is also common. Uh, oxygen is used for or for flame for welding also used as a rocket fuel it is also used for breathing aid in hospitals next it is used for steel making next it is used in deep sea diving number eight and we are going to answer number eight the samples of equal volumes of water were put in 100 centimeters cubed conical flask and heated for five minutes. Bansen banner. It was ob observed that uh, sample one registered a low temperature than sample two. Now you can see sample one and sample two. Uh, flame one, flame two. You can see them here. Name flame one. And flame one is luminous flame is luminous flame next uh, stage one disadvantages of uh, using flame one for heating it is luminous flame as we know it it is less hot produce soot next number nine you are told study the table below which shows the pH value of solution A, B, C, D, and E. You said to answer the questions that follow. Solution A, pH is 13, B, pH is 7, C, pH is 9, D, pH is 6.5, E, uh, pH is 2.0. You are told which solution is the most acidic. That one is E. pH value is very low. Then, which, sol which solution is a neutral? That one is B. Uh, then you are told to identify the solution that is most likely to be rainwater. That one is D. Uh, a solution that is most likely to be antacid tablet. That one is C. Then, uh, a solution that is likely to be sodium hydroxide. At one is A. We go to the next question. Number 10. Student accidentally accidentally mixed potassium chloride with white sand in the laboratory. Briefly and describe how the mixture can be separated. How you how to separate uh, a mixture of pota potassium chloride and a sand. Add water to the mixture to dissolve sodium chloride. Filter to obtain sand as a residue and potassium chloride as filtrate. Evaporate the filtrate to obtain crystals of pot potassium chloride. Number 11. You are told metal S removes oxygen combined with P and Q. Metal S removes oxygen combined with P. Q reacts with the oxide of R and not with oxide of P. P reacts with cold water but Q does not. Which is the most reactive metal? That one is S. Which is the least reactive metal? That is R. Arrange the metals in order of reactivity starting with the most reactive to the least reactive. So uh, arranging them according to order of reactivity so r uh, q p s number 12 what are the two causes of accident in laboratory what what causes accident in a laboratory and one is ignorance uh, 
and number two is carelessness next you are told uh, a form uh, one student accidentally uh, uh, touches a colorless liquid which which uh, poured on the laboratory bench during a chemistry lesson he suspected that liquid to be water briefly explain what he is supposed to do hmm? rinse area that affected immediately with a lot of clean water or report to the teacher or laboratory technician we go to question number 13 you are told a wooden splint uh, slipped into different uh, into the different the outermost and the innermost regions of uh, the noisy flames flame produced by a Benson banner draw diagram to show how the wooden splints uh, were affected when placed in both regions so the first thing to know is that this one is a noisy what is a noisy a flame so a mineral of the middle part of the uh, of that stick and then the middle and then the, the outer parts you are told what conclusion can be made from the experiment what can you conclude uh, the outermost zone in a luminous flame is hotter than the inner zone describe how oil can be obtained from a coconut this one is also a very common question crash the coconut uh, using a motor and piston and a pro pro panon, uh, while crashing the current filter plays the extract under sunlight uh, on an evaporating dish uh, number 15 flower extracts can also be called a simple acid base indicator uh, you are told what is an indicator an indicator is a substance that shows distinct colors in acidic and basic solutions so that is what we call indicator number two or number b 15b said advantages of uh, using universal indicator of a simple acid based indicator universal indicator can be used to obtain the strength of the strength of strength of an acid or basic solution universal indicator shows consistent results question number 16 we are going on properly we are almost done don't be tired uh, question number 16 a form for student heated and dark purple solid in a test tube and a colorless gas which uh, related and glowing splints uh, formed suggest the possible identity of the colorless gas that one is oxygen b name a suitable uh, drying agent that could be used to dry the colorless gas yeah. name a suitable drying agent can be used to dry the colorless gas that one is concentrated sulfuric for acid or anhydrous calcium chloride next we go to question number 17 both the phos phosphorus and magnesium produce two white compounds when heated in air separately write two words equations to show reaction that occur when phosphorus burn in air I write two word equation to show reactions that occur when phosphorus burn in air so phosphorus you burn it in oxygen you get phosphorus 5 oxide phosphorus plus oxygen you get phosphorus 3 oxide next write two one equation to show the reaction uh, that occur when magnesium burn in air and these are simple reactions 
or simple questions magnesium plus oxygen you get magnesium oxide magnesium plus nitrogen you get magnesium nitrate uh, next you are to describe an experiment you could carry out to, dis to distinguish the white solid formed by magnesium from that formed by phosphorus after burning this element in air separately so you have to describe an experiment you would carry out to distinguish the white solid formed by magnesium from that formed by phosphorus after burning this element in air separately so what you do to differentiate dissolve one of the solid in water place both red and blue litmus paper in the solution formed repeat the procedure using the second solid the product form from magnesium tan a red litmus paper blue and has no effect on the blue uh, on the blue litmus paper while the product uh, from phosphorus tan a blue litmus paper red and has no effect on the red litmus paper and uh, then uh, that is how you mark that question number 18 when a student was tongue by a needle plant a teacher applying an aqua solution of ammonia to the affected area of the skin and the student was relieved of the pain explain the product from the needle plant is acidic hence acquires ammonia solution being basic neutralizes the acidic product next you're told a farmer intended to plant cabbages in his farm he first tested the pH of the soil and found it to be 3.0 if cabbages do well in alkaline solution or alkaline soil explain advice that would be given to the farmer in order to analyze the high yield apply calcium oxide this one is to raise the pH of the soil and next we go to number 20 number 20 the diagram below represent a paper chromatogram for for three brands of juices suspected to contain banned food coloring so we have them here we have substance K L and M this one is solvent uh, front then uh, you're told the result the result showed the presence of banned food coloring in L and M L and M circle the spot which should be which show the banned food coloring you can see them here the, the coloring is being circled here we have circled them here you can see then show the solvent uh, front it is there we have uh, identified it there number 21 you have to define the following element what is an element an element is a pure substance which cannot be split into simpler substance by chemical means b what is an atom an atom is the smallest particle of an element which can take part in a chemical change question number 22 you are told to state and explain the observation made when zinc carbonate is added to dilute hydrochloric acid state and explain the observation I mean when a zinc carbonate is added to dilute hydrochloric acid what happened is that we have effervescence uh, due to production of carbon for uh, gas number 22b you have to write a one equation for the reaction that occur between the zinc carbonate and hydrochloric acid so zinc carbonate uh, you and hydrochloric acid you get zinc chloride carbon oxide, and water question number 23 we're almost done remember 
it is out of 100 marks uh, you are told name the element present in the following compound sodium bromide that one is sodium bromide zinc sulfate that one is zinc sulfur oxygen uh, then uh, question number 24 you are told give an example a compound that undergoes a temporary chemical change that one is hydro and written the copper 2 sulfate or an hydrous copper 2 sulfate then hydrated calbert 2 chloride which is also called an hydrous copper 2 chloride uh, 24b you are told state one and laboratory use of the compound named in a above that one is used for chemical test for water next uh, number 25 in the last state two reasons why dry ice is uh, preferred over ordinary ice by ice creamers vendor why do they uh, why do they prefer dry ice uh, than the ice cream that one it is a blimps leaning on wetness leaning uh, leaning no wetness then it is a better coolant we are through with our video today we thank you so much for watching and uh, we remind you if you have not yet subscribed to our channel kindly take two seconds uh, subscribe to this channel like uh, this video and uh, hit the bell icon so that whenever we produce a video like this one and upload in the view uh, in the youtube you will automatically be notified also you can uh, share this video to the subscribers and uh, people who watch uh, this our videos up to the end uh, we thank you so much because this channel has grown so much because of the support that you give us until next time uh, goodbye for now